Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Trumbo, the modular groove box. Um, in the last video on part 5, I showed you how you can use Trumbo as an uh, AUV free MIDI sequencer. And um, the example uh, you are seeing now on the screen is very much where we left it uh, on in part 5. So if I click play. <laughs> This is where we left it uh, um, on part five. So, um, so let's go to um, actually before I go into that, let's open the drumbo session, and here you can see very much the three tracks. Okay, and here you on part three you see the alternating between uh, like a pedal effect, uh, C three, D sharp three, C three, G three, and so on. So let's solo that part three, which is here. And let's click play. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's click here on the plus sign to add an effect. So let's click on Audio Uni extension. Let's scroll up and let's choose Drumbo effect. So Drumbo now has loaded. So let's open it up. Let's expand the window as well and let's click on the plus sign and on processor and let's go um to the uh, effect section or subcategory so let's start adding a delay effect and if i click play you should hear immediately the delay applied And let me change some parameters on the fly to see that uh, Drumbo, to show you that the Drumbo is applying real time changes to the effect. Okay, as you can see, uh, the effect works straight away. So let's add another effect, for example, for the purpose of the tutorial, a reverb. And let's manipulate the mixer and other settings on the reverb uh, module. Okay, perfect, you can see I have added a delay effect and also now a reverb effect. Let's keep going. So now, for example, you can add a channel EQ. Here you have high um, frequency. You can um, amplify or not um, mid and low as well. So let's play again that part and um, act on some of the dials here to show the impact of the channel EQ uh, rack. Again, as you can see, it's really straightforward. Um, we added now three effects and they're being applied in real time by Drumbo uh, on these channel four or third instance of uh, Arturia Isim. So let's unsolo that part to re have everything together. <laughs> Again, let's go um, a step further now to show you the capability um, of Drumbo. As you can see, we are using it as a MIDI sequencer, an AUV3 MIDI sequencer. Now we are using it as an AUV3 effect instance as well. Um, 
Now let's uh, um, add another channel, an audio channel. Let's change the input to a mix bus A. Let's change the output of the three instances of Arturia to mix bus A, like so. Again, let's select the mix and to bus A. Um, if I play again, you should hear no differences. Perfect. Now let's add here under the effect another instance of Drumble. Here we go. Let's go inside again. Let's expand the window. Let's click on the plus sign to add another rack and let's say on the generator and now let's click click on the recorder now this is where we can record the input which is coming through this channel so let's click on the record button and let's click play <laughs> Perfect. Now let's click play on the record to hear the recorded audio. As you can see, uh, this module now in this instance of Drabo has recorded the audio which is coming through um, a mix bus A. And let's go, if you click on the recorder label on the preset, now you can save that as well. So to recap, in this tutorial, we have uh, uh, taken where um, we were on part five, where we used Drumbo as a UV free MIDI sequencer to drive three instances of Arturia. On the third instance, we added, um, in the third instance of Arturia, we added a Drumbo a UV free effect where we added uh, a delay effect, a reverb effect, and a channel EQ as well. And then finally, we have redirected all the output of uh, the free Alfuria uh, ISIM uh, instances to a mix bus A here, where we have then applied as effect uh, a, another session, another instance, I would say, of Drumble, where we use the recorder rack or module to record the audio which was coming through Mix Bus A. I hope you found this useful. Again, great functionality and another use case for Drumbo, which is really fantastic. See you next time. Bye.